I wish I had a nickel for every time I did an autopsy and somebody said to me, after looking at the blackness of the lungs, oh my, did this person smoke? Well, my usual answer to that is no. It doesn't depend on how much you smoke. It depends on where you live. So you can be a non-smoker from Pittsburgh and your lungs could very easily look like this. On the other hand, if you were a heavy smoker from Peoria, Illinois, your lungs would probably look a lot better. This is anthracosis of the lungs, the deposition of soot, anthracotic, anthracotic pigment within macrophages of your lung and uh, lymph nodes. Here's a normal lymph node. And it is so important to just go over briefly the salient uh, features of normal lymph nodes. First of all, they have capsules. See, and underneath the capsule, there's a little sinus called a subcapsular sinus. This is the first area of drainage into the lymph nodes from outside the lymph node. Underneath the sinuses, you can get good differentiation of follicles. Here's a follicle, and there's a germinal center within the follicle. Here's another follicle in which you can't see a germinal center too well. Here's a follicle, you only see part of a germinal center. Here's a nice follicle with a germinal center. Notice that in the uh, middle, or the medullary portion of the lymph node, you'll still have lymphocytic cells, but they're not so much arranged as follicles anymore. They're arranged as cords. And then on the sides of the cords, these lighter areas are what they call medullary sinuses. So let's look at another lymph node that looks almost normal. You can see a capsule. You can see a subcapsular sinus. You can see a little artery uh, outside the lymph node. You can see some follicles. You can see some germinal centers within the follicles, like there. And then closer into the uh, interior or the medullary portion, you see medullary cords, which are these rather linear arrangements of lymphoid cells, and then these lighter areas called medullary sinuses, which are very rich in macrophages and histiocytes. Now in this particular lymph node, mostly in the area where there are supposed to be macrophages, you see a lot of dark pigment again. Here, 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 and even though microscopically it doesn't look like it's an overwhelmingly amount, these lymph nodes could very, very easily be uh, black when you look at them grossly. So let's take a look at some of this pigment. Well, you can see that it's within macrophages. Lymphocytes are not supposed to swallow things, only histiocytes and mac or otherwise known as macrophages do. And it's a very, very black pigment as well. I don't think there's any normal pigment in the body like hemosiderin, bile, or melanin that stains this black. Whenever you see something this black, you know it's either tattoo pigment or soot particle of anthracosis. This is an anthracotic lymph node. We all have them. It usually doesn't cause diseases, and it's, it's what uh, makes our uh, lymph nodes and lung look black. Thank you very much.